Hey, it's Bridget. Oh, I should do an intro. Oh, man. I feel like it. Oh, I feel like it. So it's cold. I am actually chilly. It's actually not that cold today. I think it's almost going to be 50 degrees and it's kind of gloomy and it feels like autumn in Minnesota. That's where I live, by the way. Oh, you know what? I don't even have my microphone on for crying out loud. Hey, testing. All right, microphone on. <sighs> so I just did a channeling video and I've noticed that in the last couple of videos I've done, even though I feel like they're not that good, like when I'm doing them, I'm like, oh, this isn't that exciting. It's not that interesting to me. And I watch them back, I'm like, oh, these are good. So I was thinking about that and how, like I, I started this channel because I wanted to channel celebrities and provide insight that people who are famous, who've been through it, because a lot of famous people, fame can wreck people. Like it can, I mean, they are dragged through all sorts of crap, trauma, drama, as we've seen in public life, right? Celebrities, people who are famous are like in fishbowls and are super held to really high standards that are completely unrealistic. And that that fame and that, that celebrity really causes people to have horrible, have to live lives that are super cautious and sometimes in fear of their safety and their families, like people who have stalkers and crazy fans and all that. I mean, it's just not very appealing. But they have this perspective about life and about what's really important to us because I think it's easy, especially in a social media world, to compare and look at people and feel like, oh, they have it all because they're wealthy and they're famous. And it could be exactly the opposite, you know? So I thought it would be great to talk with them and to give a voice to some of those different kinds of perspectives that we're not used to seeing so that maybe we can change our minds about the way we live our own lives and get inspired to make changes and take, take back control, power over our own lives besides comparing ourselves or judging ourselves or judging other people or being all like that. Maybe we can do some other things that are actually good and beneficial for us that then in turn helps others and the world, okay? That might sound ambitious but and idealistic, and yeah, that's who I am, ambitious and idealistic. I actually believe in people and the goodness in people, and I really feel for people who are in celebrity, who are famous, and have to deal with things that the rest of us have no concept of. And a lot of that stuff isn't true, and, it, and the stuff that is true is embellished a lot. And there's just so much that's just media stuff, you know? And it's easy to see and to understand why celebrities like get into addiction issues and unhealthy relationships. And I mean, it's, I can't even imagine not being able to trust the people that are closest to you and around you. I mean, it's just, it's gotta be really challenging. So I've noticed that in my last few videos that I've done, I've talked to them about stuff that I want to know about. Not, not thinking about how you as a viewer now might want to know things like how did they die or who their family was and how many children they had. When those things are just Googled, you can Google that. You can look that up. Like I'm not writing some kind of a you know, um, factual journalism piece for you, you know, with all these facts and figures and data and stats. And that's not, I'm not interested in that. And when I started the channel at Above Life Channel, it wasn't for that. It was for the interesting insights, the stuff that you won't know because it wasn't reported on or you didn't understand the behind the scenes and what was really going on with the person, the person that was living the life. And the spirit and the soul in the afterlife can give that perspective. So the personal part of it is important to me. And so I just noticed that in the last few channels. I'm like, oh, hmm. So we'll see. We'll see how you guys feel about when I channel and talk with some different kinds of celebrities in the afterlife. Like not people that are super popular right now, but who have been over time, you know, way back in, in TV history or in movie history or people who are 
maybe in business that are, are well-known people, uh, different kinds of celebrity. And because these are people that I'm curious about and I would like to know their perspectives, especially from an afterlife, because as a spirit, people are, they're able to transcend the human context and the constraints or confinements they had in their life they can leave it. It's like quitting a job and moving on to the, uh, something else, you know, kind of a thing. I mean, I don't know if that's a good analogy or not, but whatever, you're gonna get that because I'm tired today. Oh, and by the way, I have this great sweatshirt on. It's really cozy. Just let it go. Yeah, it's a Disney one because I like Disney stuff because that's what I like. And it's my channel, so I can wear and do whatever I want to do, basically. So I thought, hmm, should I record a video about recording videos <laughs> about my mood or my attitude about channeling and what's important to me. And maybe I should, you know, tell you guys, hey, here's the deal. This channel isn't about data stats and busting myths about, um, or busting open um, unresolved cases. You know, it's, it's not, I'm so over that stuff. It's so not, it's like ambulance chasing and that's not me. That is not what I want to do with my work and my gifts and my skills and my time. While that might be a great way to get a whole bunch of followers, it's not my thing. I want you guys to follow Above Life channel and watch because it's interesting to you and you get something from it. There's like insight and you feel inspired or you're like curious about some aspect of a celebrity's life and you're like, huh, I wonder about that. And you learn how they managed through that difficult time that they had or how they were able to follow their dreams or pursue their dreams or now their perspective in the afterlife, how they view their life differently. And you learn from it and you get the benefit to learn from that. And that's what I want. That's the kind of connection I want. And that's what I hope that we do here at Above Life Channel with weekly channeling videos. So if you have any comments that you want to leave below, go ahead and do that. I do read my comments. It's so funny to me when people write comments like, she does this or she doesn't, she does that or she's la la la. Like talking about me like I won't read my comments. Maybe a lot of YouTube people don't, but I do. And so I kind of have to chuckle. I always, sometimes I do reply and I go, she, air quotes, she quotation marks, has a name, her name is Bridget. <laughs> You know, it's so funny. I know they're not try probably trying to be like, oh, you know, snarky or anything, but I'm just like, oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I appreciate you. I do. I know you feel like you know me, and I feel like I know you too. So I appreciate your time, and I like hanging out with you guys every week. Thanks so much for watching Above Life Channel on YouTube.